Hi, right, welcome to Fire Dojo. And today, uh, I'm very excited to show you the start of a project I've been wanting to make for many years. Um, so when I make a set with just one material, I call that a uh, a Neo Prometheus set. It's a uh, it's all laid out where you know the the spindle sits inside the hearth board and all the pieces are there and it's basically ready to go. It's like ready to light up. But this set I call it a neo igneous set or the you know how in um, in archaeology there's the the Paleolithic, the old lith the old Stone Age, the Mesolithic, the Middle Stone Age and the Neolithic, which is the New Stone Age. And uh, during the New Stone Age, they were competing with uh, the bronze metal uh, making uh, culture because um, the stone tool workers had competition now, now that they were metal making. So they had to really up their game. Anyway, this uh, I'm calling this the Neo-Igneous Igneous is uh, Latin for fire, so it's the new fire age set. So that's where that comes from. Um, so this toolbox you see here uh, is designed to hold one and an entire kit. Okay. So I had this made for a, uh, a friend an old friend I used to work with. Um, for those who are old enough to remember, there used to be a, an all-you-can-eat buffet restaurant called Sizzler. And uh, me and my friend Matt, uh, we used to work there. I was a waiter, and sometimes I did cooking in the back. But Matt was the, the cook. So he was like throwing all the, the steaks and the seafood and the chicken on the grill and making all the, the food for everybody in the restaurant. And uh, sometimes after work, we would play Ultimate Frisbee. And no one could beat Matt. Matt was the most awesome. So I've known Matt for many years. His wife, Kelly, also my friend, uh, we she asked if I would make Matt a set for Father's Day. And so Father's Day is uh, less than a week away. And I finished this set uh, a week ago. And uh, I wanted to do something really special because they're old friends. So I'd, I'd had this design in my mind for a very long time. And so I decided to just start making that design. And Matt was going to get the first evolution of this set. So um, I put the Fire Dojo patch here on uh, a round of bamboo. This is 100% uh, bamboo, this piece of wood because bamboo is my favorite material. I made a small plaque here, also out of bamboo, and uh, it's from my friend Matt. This is a crutch drill and a toggle drill set in one. And I have here that it is actually the first ever Neo Igneous set uh, as a first evolution. So I chose this toolbox because uh, it has no seams it is completely one piece so if this thing was sitting in water there would be nowhere for it to leak in fact the top where the handle is you would think that if it like was raining water would come in here but this area here is completely sealed off there's no seams so water can't get into the box from the top either and then all around the edge here, this red rubber strip is a water seal. So when this locks down, it's it's basically waterproof, this whole thing. So you can like take this whole two box, throw it in the lake, and it won't get wet. So uh, it's a it's a craftsman, by the way. The other reason why I chose this box is because it's it's over two feet long because the pieces that I make are two feet long 
So the spindle, the bow, and the uh, crutch are all two feet long. These are 24 inches. So I needed enough room in here to put 24 inch pieces and they fit on the sides here, along here. So they fit in there. Now the center is less than 24 inches. It doesn't really stay, so uh, it won't fit. So what I did with that space was I created two compartments and in these compartments, there are uh, 24 uh, hearth boards. So these boards are made of tulip poplar. And I marked each one by its Jonka number, 540. So this says uh, pound sign or number J for Jonka, 0540, zero, so 540 is the Jonka number, is the hardness of tulip poplar. And LT stands for Liriodendron tulipifera, which is the Latin name for tulip poplar. So this is, so if you run out of these boards, you would tell me this number, and I will know to replace that uh, these hearth boards with this wood tulip poplar. And as you can see, these are ready to go, and they have uh, glued to them a coal catcher. So the coal will end up right here, and you could pick this whole thing up. And also, if you're doing this inside, which you know sometimes you do. Uh, it won't burn the floor. The coal will be sitting on the, the coal catcher, which is right there. So these fit nicely together, compactly. And they're held together with some hair bands. So there's a total of 24 hearth boards here. And each one of these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 sockets and notches so 11 times 24 ready to go like ready to light up that's what we got here so i'm going to take one out here we have 100 tulip poplar reloads so i have one extra one here and again it has the number J540 uh, and LT for, uh, so I, I know to replace the reloads with uh, this material if you order that. So it comes with jute, so you can make a tinder bundle, a pair of scissors, so you can cut the jute up for a tinder bundle. Comes with a bit of uh, sandpaper. So if you need to fix a section, you could sand whatever it is you have to do. Uh, it comes with uh, hose clamps, and the hose clamps are for the spindle. The spindle is made of Ipe. Ipe is a, a hardwood from South America. Hydroanthus species, okay, and uh, the reload will fit down here. The reloads are uh, three quarters of an inch in diameter, okay, and the width of the crutch drill or toggle drill spindle is an inch and a uh, inch and a half, I think, inch and a half. So this hose clamp goes right on the end and this kit also comes with a screwdriver so we tighten down the hose clamp now I'm doing this as if a first timer was exposed to this set 
Oh, see now, that's still loose. And for that reason, I included some chamois cloth. Okay, so you cut that in strips and you would put that in the hole to take up space. So we're gonna do that. Gonna shove that in there. And we're gonna tighten that up. Now, just to clear the way, I'm going to cut the rest of that chamois off. Okay, now that's it really in there, the reload. So the, the crutch brace, which is also a T-brace for the toggle drill, okay, is also made of Ipe, hydroanthus uh, species. Okay, and the bow also the bow also is made of Ipe hydroanthus species. Okay, so this set has never been tested, so I'm also going to have to probably fix the cord. To get it uh, the correct number of turns. So this set also comes with some extra cord if you need extra cord and a small Japanese kiridashi knife which I made just for the set it just sits in there and if necessary some good old ivory soap to go in the socket if, if you need a little bit to lubricate. So I'm going to put this over here for a minute, and actually, I'm going to put the whole box aside. So we're going to get set up. So how I start wrapping a crutch drill is I hold up the cord, and I hold up the spindle, and I start from the top. And I wrap inward and downward. Inward, downward. So you have to do one more turn. Again, I'm doing this for the first time on this set. This is actually a test. Stretch it out a little bit. Okay. Get that right just above middle. And let's see how this goes. I'll just pick pick the one on the end, I guess. Right. And here we go. So you want a full stroke of the bow, end to end, and you just have to gently lean on this. Now, tulip poplar is not a very hard wood. In fact, it's a bow drill wood. So I chose crutch drill and toggle drill for Matt because he's also a, him and Kelly are also Scout masters, their kids are in scouts, so they're going to be doing a lot of outings. And I chose these two methods crutch drill and toggle drill because crutch drill and toggle drill are two of the easiest ones to do with children. A crutch drill is easier to do than bow drill, and a toggle drill is easier to do than crutch drill. So There's our coal. A 
comes with the fire catcher like I said so you can pick it up it doesn't burn the floor I like it when it glows, it's got to glow. All right? So there's our crutch drill test. Okay. So uh, what Jake and I are going to do now, Jake's holding the camera by the way. Thanks Jake. Uh, we're going to stop for a second and we're going to get my daughter to hold the camera while Jake and I do the toggle drill together. So we're going to put the bow. Here's how I wrap the bow. Put that neatly away. And I take this mini bungee cord and I wrap this around. I just hook that there and then it's neatly the way in the sun. Alright, so I'm gonna go grab my daughter. She's gonna hold the camera and we'll be right back. Alright, so uh, my daughter Alexa is holding the camera. Jake and I are gonna do toggle drill. So these toggles are also made out of Ipe or Hydroanthus uh, species. And this is uh, 5 sixteenths uh, rope or cord. Now, how you do toggle drill is you wrap this around multiple times. And this requires two people. So and the other person being Jake, right? So what we do is I do two things. I step on the board and the spindle goes on the board and I hold the pressure T-brace just like this against my legs. Now the cord will be wrapped around the center and Jake's gonna always hold this one up and always hold this one down because this one will always come in and out through the top and this one will always come in, in and out through the bottom. So let's spin that one more time. There we go. And what Jake is gonna do is he's gonna do full length pulls is that too long still? I think it's fine. I think it's got it. Now you shouldn't pull, don't pull wide. Pull toward you. It's too long. Yeah, it's too yeah. long. See, now what you want to do is it should be comfortable where the pull should be your normal uh, arm length. Let's try it now. Better. Yeah. See how Jake is just uh, stretched out? He's going to go nice and long. Long strokes. And my job is to just keep this straight up and down perpendicular and steady. And try not to let it drift into the notch because he's pulling for the notch. And we're going to stop. And have a quick look. It looks like it's there. Now tulip poplar is a very easy wood to use. Yeah, it's definitely there, right?
Did I speak too soon? I spoke too soon. Okay. Now you notice these, this is not dust. It's pretty chunky, right? See how chunky that is? This is classic with poplar. And this is one of the reasons why I don't really like poplar is because it doesn't really come out with dust. It comes out with these chunks. But with a crutch drill set and a toggle drill set, if you just go long enough and make a big enough pile, those chunks are going to ignite like it did with the crutch drill just a little while ago. So we're going to, we're just going to finish this up. Jake is going to stretch out. He's basically going to put his feet near mine, right? And we're just going to, nice and long. Nice and long, long strokes, long. And he's just going to relax so it's not really any major effort on his part because really I'm responsible for pressure. The thing about toggle drill is the, the responsibility of pressure is not on the person doing the, the bowing or the strokes. Nice and long. Fast. Real fast. Fast, fast, fast. Okay. Stop. That's a little better, right? And the coal catcher is pretty nice. You could pick up the whole thing. I'm smoking everybody out. All right, so here is our crutch drill. Jakey, you can go back over there. So now, take the uh, crutch brace or T-brace, depending on how you use it. That goes back here. toggles get wound back up and they just go right here in the drawer and we're going to move our coal and we're going to put Boards back together. Yeah, there's two. Put them back. Take our screwdriver. Take off our hose clamp. Hose clamp goes back. In the drawer, we could take out our reload, our chamois cloth. We could leave those in the drawer, and we could put our spindle away. Put our screwdriver away, and leave the fly out. Seal this up, and it's completely waterproof. That's good to go. So uh, my goal with the Neo Ignea set is to make crutch drill, toggle drill sets along with also all the other methods. Each box will be a method, but it's going to contain multiple materials. So for example, crutch drill and toggle drill, 
it's going to have like the hardest woods in the Jonka scale that are commercially available all in the box as samples not just one material but many and then all the other methods are going to have comparable Jonka scale materials in each one of their boxes so each box will be like a method with the appropriate materials in there not just one like tulip poplar all right uh, that's it for this week thanks for watching <laughs>